This is the Music History Today podcast for June 19th. On today's show, Motley Crue tours and a partnership begins and ends. First up, though, on this date in 1932, San Francisco held its very first concert. In 1937, Robert Johnson had his second recording session with producer Don Law. In 1946, Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin started their nightclub and movie partnership. In 1953, James Brown married his wife, Velma Warren. In 1956, 10 years to the day that they got together, Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin broke up their nightclub and movie partnership. In 1960, Loretta Lynn recorded her song, I'm a Honky Tonk Girl. In 1962, Nat King Cole recorded the song Ramblin' Rose. In 1967, Paul McCartney admitted that he had taken LSD, which got him into a little bit of hot water. In 1972, the United States government lost a Supreme Court case against the White Panthers, who had MC5 manager John Sinclair as a member. The group was accused of the bombing of a CIA office in Ann Arbor, Michigan. The court case became a landmark case after the court determined that it was illegal for the government to wiretap someone without a warrant. In 1973, singer Roberta Flack's TV special, Roberta Flack, the first time ever, premiered. In 1980, Donna Summer signed with Geffen Records, becoming the first artist to do so on that record label. In 1981, the Glastonbury Music Festival in England got underway with Hawkwind headlining that year. In 1987, Motley Crue, at the height of their popularity, started their Girls, Girls, Girls tour. Also in 1987, the Glastonbury Music Festival in England got underway that year with Elvis Costello headlining. In 1988, Danny Spitz of Anthrax got married. In 2006, Darren Hayes of Savage Garden married animator Richard Cullen. In 2010, singer Leanne Rimes was divorced from dancer Dean Sheremet. In 2014, the group Mamamoo was formed. In 2017, the United States Supreme Court ruled that the Asian American group The Slants could copyright their name despite the racial undertones of the name. In 2018, songs by Triple X Tentation were streamed to Spotify 10.4 million times, breaking the single-day Spotify streaming record that was held at that time by Taylor Swift. The record came one month after Spotify had banned his music over abuse allegations and one day after he had been murdered during a robbery. In classical music in 1825, Giacchino Rossini premiered the opera Il Viaggio a Rans. In theater in 1973, the musical The Rocky Horror Picture Show debuted in England. In 1978, the musical The Best Little Whorehouse opened on Broadway. In 1994, the musical She Loves Me closed on Broadway. And in 1997, the Broadway show Forever Tango opened. Albums that were released on June 19th include in 1970 when Diana Ross released her self-titled album. In 1973, Smokey Robinson released Smokey. In 1974, Marvin Gaye released Marvin Gaye Live. In 1978, Trooper released Thickest Thieves. In 1979, Lowell George released Thanks, I'll Eat It Here. And Blue Oyster Cult released Mirrors. In 1981, Oingo Boingo released Only a Lad. In 1984, Glenn Fry released The All-Nighter, and The Rolling Stones released Rewind, 1971 and 1984. In 1987, John Waite released Rover's Return. In 1988, Jimmy Page released Outrider. In 1989, Cher released Heart of Stone. In 1995, Reef released Replenish. In 2000, Duran Duran released Pop Trash. In 2001, 311 released From Chaos and Loverboy released Live, Loud, and Loose, 1982 to 1986. In 2002, The Church released The Greatest Hits Acoustic. In 2012, Richard Marks released A Night Out with Friends and Fiona Apple released The Idler Wheel. Singles that were released on June 19th include in 1953 when Ray Charles released Mess Around. In 1961, Chubby Checker released Let's Twist Again. 
1967, the Jimi Hendrix Experience released Purple Haze in America after it had been released a few months earlier in the UK. In 1972, The Carpenters released Goodbye to Love, and in 1981, REO Speedwagon released Don't Let Him Go. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on June 19th include bassist Chuck Berghofer, bluegrass pioneer Lester Flatt, blues guitarist Big Bill Morganfield, composer John Bray, country music singer Doug Stone, Elaine Spanky McFarlane of Spanky and Our Gang, Entertainer Charlie Drake, folk singer-songwriter Nick Drake, guitarist Brian Welch of the group Korn, guitarist Darren Barrett, Guy Lombardo, who did the New Year's Eve classic Auld Lang Syne, John Hinch of Judas Priest, Luke Morley of Thunder, lyricist Dave Lambert, singer Marty DeBarge of the group DeBarge, music critic Robert Palmer, not to be confused with singer Robert Palmer, Pianist Charles Hubbard Thompson, rapper Sirac, rapper KSI, rapper Macklemore of Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, rapper Scarlord, saxophonist Bertie King, saxophonist Jerry Jerome, saxophonist Joe Thomas, Shirley Goodman of Shirley and Lee, Simon Wright of the group ACDC, singer Al Wilson, singer Ann Wilson of the group Heart, singer Gabrielle, Singer Goody Grace, singer Jillian Hervey of Lion Babe, singer Paula Abdul, singer Scott Avett of the Avett Brothers, singer Sky, singer-songwriter Brian Vander Ark of the group The Verve Pipe, and singer Tommy DeVito of The Four Seasons. Artists who unfortunately passed away on June 19th include composer Alessandro Marcello, who passed away in 1747 at the age of 74. Composer Charles Joseph Balthazar Soher passed away in 1759 at the age of 31. Composer Johann Eberlin passed away in 1762 at the age of 60. Composer John Bray, the aforementioned John Bray, passed away on his 40th birthday in 1822. Pianist Sergei Taneyev passed away in 1915 at the age of 58. Composer and soldier Maurice Jaubert passed away after he was fatally wounded in action during World War II in 1940 at the age of 40. Opera singer Heinrich Schulzness passed away in 1952 at the age of 63. Composer Marjan Kozina passed away in 1966 at the age of 59. Composer Mabel Wayne passed away in 1978 at the age of 87. Jazz bassist Al Lucas passed away in 1983 at the age of 66. Composer Vladimir Vogel passed away in 1984 at the age of 88. Composer Zdenek Blazek passed away in 1988 at the age of 83. Antonio Martinez of the group Los Bravos passed away in a motorcycle accident in 1990 at the age of 44. Opera singer Murray Dickey passed away in 1995 at the age of 71. Opera director Andy Anderson passed away in 1996 at the age of 78. Composer Vivian Ellis passed away in 1996 at the age of 91. Country music singer Bobby Helms passed away in 1997 at the age of 63. Big band clarinetist Michael Peanuts Hucko passed away in 2003 at the age of 85. Dwayne Rowland of the group Molly Hatchet passed away in 2006 at the age of 53. 
Singer and actor Elle Ferry passed away in 2007 at the age of 69. Singer and actor Antonio Aguilar passed away from pneumonia in 2007 at the age of 88. Classical musician Ali Akbar Khan passed away in 2009 at the age of 87. Composer Tail Ognanovsky passed away in 2012 at the age of 90. Country music singer Slim Whitman passed away in 2013 at the age of 90. Singer-songwriter Philip Topol passed away in 2013 at the age of 48. Pianist Bojadar Dimov passed away in 2013 at the age of 61. Lyricist Jerry Goffin passed away in 2014 at the age of 75. DJ Philippe Zadar passed away in 2019 after falling from a building at the age of 52. Rapper Trey Savage was shot and killed while driving in 2020 at the age of 26. Session and touring keyboardist for David Lee Roth from 1986 to 1994 and also with Fleetwood Mac from 1997 to 2017. Brett Tuggle passed away in 2022 at the age of 70. And ragtime piano player and composer Max Morath passed away in 2023 at the age of 96. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is June 20th when, in 1969, David Bowie recorded Space Oddity. 